Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I'd just like to make some comments and follow up on some issues I raised back in a grievance I before in this chamber on the 8th of February when I talked about some issues regarding the, the planning and design code of South Australia. And I note in the, today's uh, in daily that the minister has made some comments regarding that and the role councils play. And I think it's very important. The minister's comments are important to the, to the, in the context of what I wish to raise today. At, at that time, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, I raised concerns about uh, the lack of engagement by the local council, namely the Gawler Council, with its community over a proposed code amendment in, at Everson Park. The code amendment was to uh, uh, rezone some uh, local neighbourhood zone, which is essentially just residential areas, to a, a local employment zone, uh, which is essentially commercial. And it is a, a proponent-driven uh, uh, code amendment, and that in itself is not, is not the problem. Uh, the problem arose where the council uh, asserted that he had no role in this process, and it uh, was up to the community to uh, be heard. Uh, and that the, the council would further, council would further make express no opinion about the code amendment itself. Uh, the, the council asserted that uh, that that position it adopted was based on legal advice to the council, and namely that the council had no role. Uh, but the advice went even further, as I understand it. It meant that local councillors, elected members, had no role to play to communicate with their communities or engage their communities over this very important and controversial code amendment. Mr Speaker, uh, as a result of that, I then raised those matters in this place on the 8th of February, and, and, and I appreciate the action taken by the Minister since then, and the Minister responded to my grievance and advised that the Council did have a role to play and outlined the role it could play. Since then, Council has adopted a new position and I congratulate the Council for doing so. But the, this matter, Mr Speaker, does raise some uh, serious issues because the Council assert that it was based on legal advice. Their original position was based on legal advice. The legal advice was uh, given to Council and it was actually considered in camera. So we actually don't know as a community what the legal advice was to the Council. Uh, and that this is where the issues which arise. One is the legal advice is in camera, so we actually don't know uh, to what extent uh, what the advice was appropriate or not. Uh, was the advice faulty in some way to the council, and was the council misled by the legal advice? Uh, that's something which we don't know. Or the alternative was the advice actually misrepresented by the council or misinterpreted by the council uh, in, in this in this matter. The second issue is that uh, the, the advice um, is said to have said the advice has said to have said that councillors were not um, able to, to engage with the community. Uh, I think it's a sad day when we, we have a situation where local councillors or any elected official, whether it's state, local, or federal, is unable to engage with their communities of in issues of importance to them. And this was actually attached with a legal threat. The councils were told, should they engage with the community, they could be actually subject to legal action. So actually they, so they actually were gagged by the council. Given that the minister now has corrected that, um, I think the issue regarding legal advice has to be explored because how can a, a, either council get it so wrong or the lawyers, the lawyers given the advice get it so wrong? And secondly, I think that advice needs to be made public because this is a code amendment. It should be an open and transparent process. The process itself should be subject to, to accountability, uh, and that part of that part of that process should be any legal advice given to the council should also be made public, so the council community can have confidence in what the council is doing. So um, I will follow that up, and we'll see how the council goes. Very quickly, the time left, Mr. Sp Mr. Speaker, I would just like to congratulate and put on, re on record my congratulations to the Gawler Relay for Life Committee. Uh, the Gawler Relay for Life Committee uh, on the weekend uh, went through, has, has um, gone and raised over a million dollars since 2009 through the events they have annually. This event this year had 300 participants, 23 teams, and actually has actually added to the uh, vast 
amount of money it's, uh, it's actually raised. Congratulations to the Gawler for Life Relay Committee for raising funds for cancer prevention and cancer research. Question,